Good morning, Vegan Logic subscribers. I just wanted to give you a quick tour of what I've got going here in Florida. Um, I'm in southwest Florida, in Naples. Um, this here is a lychee tree right here. Okay, and um, this tree has not produced yet, but hopefully within the next year or so, I'll start getting some lychees. So, let me take you over here. I've got a mango tree. I had some nice mangoes from this tree a while back. <clears throat> I'm not sure of the variety, but they were extremely good. This year I only had a few and I was away for two weeks in Europe and when I got back they were gone. <laughs> so, and this tree here in front, this smaller one here is a persimmon tree which has not produced yet either. So that mango tree is good and I've got another one here, this mango tree, which has not produced at all. Now I'm going to head towards the backyard. And it's a good idea, I mean, if you can move to a subtropical area, or if you live in one, definitely start planting some fruit trees. And, you know, you can plant your lettuces. They grow really well in the winter time. I still have a little Chinese cabbage left that I'll show you. This tree here, this little tree here is a lemon tree. And you can see I've got some lemons on it. You can see here those lemons, so I'm looking forward to those. I've got an avocado tree here, which I haven't had a lot of success with yet, but it did flower. But then Irma messed things up with that. This here is a Myers lemon tree right here, and I've got some lemons on it. You can see the lemons, they're looking good. And this is my favorite tree right now, because the mangoes are happening. And there goes a squirrel running away, he was trying to get them, but this tree is actually loaded with them. So. I'm hoping and these mangoes here, these are called Nam Duck mangoes from the Philippines. And the flesh on these things is unbelievable. It's like the best peach you've ever had. Um, there's no, you know, fiber and whatnot. And there goes a squirrel running away with one of my mangoes. I figure, hey, we can share. He's having a ball. I've got good mangoes. <laughs> and um, here, these are champagne mangoes or Atalfo mangoes. I don't have a ton of them on the tree. There's not a lot, but these also. The flesh is fantastic, really good. And um, you can see what I've got going here on this tree. So, and then over here I've got a, um, an orange tree that produced really well for me. I had, well, I shouldn't say really well. I had about 15 oranges and you can see some new growth here already for next season. Now this mango tree, I'm not sure the variety, but one year I had, I'm not kidding you, 800 to 1,000 mangoes off this tree. This is a big tree and I need to trim it down. I got to take the top off and, and really cut it back. But um, they were good. 
not not they had more fiber but uh, this year all the flowers I had were burned we've had a very extremely hot spring so um, they all got burned but I still got some from the other two trees that I'm looking forward to now I'm gonna head out to the backyard and show you what I've got going there here I've got a moringa tree that's doing okay I've got some pineapples this baby's happy right here and I've got a mango tree here in a pot that I'll plant these are frangipanis they flower I like to put them towards the edge <clears throat> here I've got a fig tree black mission fig tree um, and I planted it over here kind of in the shade because these the Sun again here in Florida can really tear them up okay maybe some of you don't know I teach tennis for a living here's the tennis court here and um, but you know I'm 70 years old now and I'll tell you being vegan has helped me tremendously I don't I don't know if I'd still be doing it this here is a mamey sapote tree very tasty fruit high in uh, B vitamins and here I've got a mango that's doing well here is another mango that's doing well and this backyard here is a work in progress as you can see um, here's another mame sapote here it's doing well very happy I've got drip lines but right now I have them pulled back because I'm trying this is a uh, sapodilla tree another sapodilla tree there the one further down there that is a guava this one over here and now here I've got sugar apple that's a sugar apple tree here is another sugar apple tree and then back here I've got another mame tree I really like mame so I'm hoping that these trees will do well and I've got to learn more about fertilizing but right now the biggest thing I've got to do is get these weeds out of here and get more tree mulch more chips because that's going to help keeping those weeds down here this is a um, avocado tree here I've got a nice mango that's doing well and then over here another one and here I've got all my chips I got to spread them all out I want to get these weeds down before the summer rains really kick in because once those summer rains kick in the weeds come up like mad but if I can cover once I get them pulled and if this by the way is a guava guava tree yeah if I can get them pulled um, and get the chips spread but I'm gonna need more chips because I'll need probably a good foot or so of chips to prevent those weeds from coming through so that's what I've got going here and my goal is to just keep planting more more and more fruit trees and the other thing you can plant here is lettuces but they grow you know you plant them in October and you'll start getting some nice lettuces in December and um, there's that Myers lemon tree and the man the lemons are there's a ton of lemons on this tree now the vegetable garden where we grow all our herbs cilantro parsley is here right now see it's June 
My wife plants marigolds in here because it keeps the bugs away. But this is Chinese cabbage. Um, you can eat this stuff right off. It's good stuff. Um, I've got, you know, a little green onion in there, some arugula. But I will grow in here red leaf, green leaf, romaine, um, spinach. It's, it's amazing how well they grow in December, January, February, and March. Still have some basil here. That's good stuff. And I got a few flowers here. And more pineapples. And by the way, if you've never had a pineapple that's been ripened by the sun, oh man, these things just melt in your mouth. So that's what I've got going. And um, please, thumbs up subscribe to the channel that's really going to help me out and um, any questions or comments please let me know i'm here to help you make the transition to a vegan lifestyle it's going to help you tremendously all the best